So this is not at all how I wanted to start tomorrow's vlog, guys. I'm not happy. You'll notice I'm still in the same clothes. It's still the same night. It's still the night of the 17th. It is actually two minutes away from turning midnight. I'm breaking my little rule. I'm starting tomorrow's vlog a little bit early. I went to render today's vlog. Had everything done. Hit the render button. Apparently I ran an update on Adobe Premiere Elements 14. It is now version 14.1, and something happened along the way that MPEG-2 no longer works. It requires, what did they even call it? Encoder activation. And I know there's going to be some of you in the comments below that will say things like, that's what you get for using DRM software. That's what you get. I don't, I, I don't care. Use what you like. Use what makes you happy. I'm trying different things. And in this particular instance, running an update has bit me square in the butt. I ran through their stupid activation process. I used the little key that they generated, they provided. It gave me a unique code based upon my system, which failed to work. I tried it again and again, gave me the exact same code every time. Of course, exact same error every time. Cannot find a single person in the entire world that is having the same problem. Ah, not a way to end the night. So for the time being though, it does still work. I am still able to render. Rendering using H.264, hopefully it does not turn out terribly. That's one of the reasons I loved using MPEG-2 for these daily vlogs when they're 30 minute long videos or 25 minute videos, to be able to have them rendered in six or seven minutes as opposed to 15 or 20 minutes makes all the difference because when you're looking at midnight or 1 a.m. or 2 a.m., 15 minutes versus six minutes is a really big difference. This is not a fun time. Minor update and then I'm heading to bed as the vlog uploads. The vlog is done. I think I figured out what the problem was. I, and this is completely stupid, this is what I would call asinine. I had to run Adobe Premiere Elements as administrator. I had to right click on the little icon on the desktop, say run as administrator, and then attempt to render my project. It then properly loaded all of the codecs that it was eligible to use. When I told it to use MPEG-2, the codec that I traditionally use for the daily vlogs because it makes it a reasonable size, it went out to the web. It said, does this person have access? Yes, he does. Okay. And so they brought it back in and it worked. I closed the program, I reopened it, and I was able to do it again without having to run as administrator. Somebody is doing a piss poor job. Somebody at Adobe should be fired. That is all I will say about it. Have a good night. I don't know if you can see that. There are no flurries in the air. What are you doing, nature? Yes, Mr. Mailman. Come to the dark side. And a proper good morning to you. I am finally clean. Yeah, I had a bit of a, just a rough morning getting up this morning. So got up, did my morning meeting and everything. Started getting to work, started doing this, that, and the other. Answering comments, answering emails, dealing with stuff for the day job. Didn't actually get cleaned up until just now. And it's almost noon, but it is still morning. Now the funny thing is I was just upstairs getting ready and I actually came up with the perfect title for yesterday's vlog that I've already released. And I probably shouldn't go ahead and change it, but I might. Yesterday's vlog, I talked a lot about get rich or die vlogging. It was the article that I'd read and everything and the, the thoughts I had behind it. When really the title of the vlog, the whole synopsis of what I said there, there's an old saying, don't quit your day job. And most people take that to mean, don't give up what you're currently doing because you suck at what you're trying to do. And that's not how I would take that at all. That's exactly what I was trying to say yesterday. Don't quit your day job, keep your day job, but also keep doing the things that you love on the side. So don't quit your day job, but don't quit. Maybe that's a good way to put it. Maybe I'll change the title of the vlog to that. I don't know. Anyway, today I decided I've had an awful lot of negativity in this vlog again lately, and I need to, I need to smile more. More. So today is a smile more day. As you saw earlier, the USPS man has already been here. The geek fuel box has been dropped off. I am going to hold off on opening that up until Duncan gets home to see if he's interested in opening it along with me. From what I read in their description, there are some really fun things in that box. So I'm looking forward to it. Things like Simpsons and Star Wars and maybe even The Nightmare Before Christmas, which I absolutely love that film. And actually it just kind of clicked for me. I think my buddy Nick is going to be coming over here in a minute. I may pull the camera out on him. He was messaging me last night. We were going back and forth when I was having all those issues related to Premiere Elements. Uh, he was talking about a new SSD that he picked up. He's putting in his desktop that for some reason or another, Samsung SSD did not come with a mounting tray, did not come with a USB mounting kit. So he didn't have any way to get data off the old drive onto the new one and no way to actually mount the new drive in his desktop. So I told him, when I bought an SSD a while back for my desktop, I actually had an extra mounting bracket because I didn't use it. My desktop didn't require it. So I told him, you're absolutely welcome to have this if you want it. So I think he's going to stop by today and pick this up. In yet other news, going in a completely different direction. Since I've moved to this new Drobo storage solution, I found myself doing the same thing over and over again, where basically I'll make a video. Okay, I've got this video created on my SSD, my main system hard drive. Now I have to move it to my backup drive and then my backup backup drive, because I have the Drobo, which is massive storage. Then I have my secondary, my five terabyte drive. And that process is just a lot of manual stuff. So time to automate it. So I took a little bit of time and I created, again, a couple of Ruby scripts, one for copying my vlog over and one for copying stuff from the tool directory over, where in this case for the tool stuff, it figures out what 
what year it is, it figures out the output directory to stick it in, and then copies it to my Drobo and to my external 5 terabyte drive. Realistically, I ought to just be copying things over to the Drobo and then having an rsync run every hour or so, or every so many hours, or once a day, or whatever. I don't know. But this does seem like a pretty decent idea. Basically, all I have to do at this point, because I paired this up with a batch file, let me just pull up the vlog directory, yeah, all I have to do at this point is grab, for example, this is the 17th, this is yesterday's log, grab this and drag it to backup, and then it says, run this, it does a bunch of stuff, it makes the copy for me. I'm actually running the backup right now. All I had to do was drag and drop it. Now that said, I have not actually finished the script. I haven't set it to automatically delete the file. I'm gonna do some more checking in there. If it makes the copies appropriately, I'm gonna have it delete the directory as well. Because what I'd like to have it do is, this is done, let's get rid of it. So we're gonna make a copy of it here, or make a copy of it there, and then we're gonna get rid of it, move on. And as long as I do that on the daily basis, just drag and drop. I have two copies of everything backed up. I still need to look into some sort of an online storage solution, but we are seriously talking about terabytes of data. And with my three megabit per second upload speed, that ain't gonna happen. How do you know when you have a problem, when you're thoroughly addicted to someone's content? I just saw a video pop up. Actually, I saw two videos pop up from Casey Neistat. One titled, he thought it was funny. One titled, delete me. I obviously opened up delete me first, and then I opened up He Thought It Was Funny, and I noticed they were exactly the same video, but there were seven seconds difference. So I put them side by side. They were identical videos. And I let them both run together at the same time to see where it went different. As it turns out, in the Delete Me clip, he had just left out a little segment of himself with his daughter, so definitely worthwhile to watch the one with the little clip of him and his daughter together, because she's adorable. Anyway, gonna finish that, have some lunch. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Well, that was fun. My, my buddy Nick dropped by for a little while, and while he was here, UPS showed up. Actually, right as he was walking out the door, UPS showed up with the Blue Life One X 4G LTE phone that I paid a hundred bucks for. That is a deal. That is absolutely a mind-blowing kind of deal. And supposedly, I think this is actually supposed to be receiving Marshmallow at some point, so definitely gonna be doing a video on this very, very soon. But that does mean that my table is getting full. It's doing that thing where it's trying to snow outside again. You're not allowed to snow. Stop it. Not time yet. I don't want it. I especially don't want it when it is getting very close to baby time. I really, when we had Duncan seven years ago, middle of February, hospital, everything, it was all planned out. It was induction, had him a week early. It snowed while we were there. It snowed in the middle of February, as you probably expect. But normally around here, it does not snow in the middle of December. It gets pretty cold and occasionally we get a little bit and that's all we've gotten so far. I mean, it's, if you look outside, it's still perfectly clear. There's just little teeny tiny, I'm calling them snow sprinkles that we're seeing. And that's all that I want to see. If it goes any farther than that, I'm gonna get really upset with the sky. Alrighty, sitting here waiting to get Duncan off the bus now. I've gone ahead and brought a, brought along the OnePlus iPhone 6 case, as well as the, the Moto E for the giveaway, as well as the addresses and everything. So uh, once I get Duncan, we're actually gonna run out to the post office so I can mail these things out. Because it's Friday afternoon and I have to do that or it's not gonna go out until after the weekend. And I would really hate to do that. I wanna make sure, at least try to make sure that these get there by Christmas. That would be great. I don't know if the one's gonna make it to India by Christmas. I'm sorry to Shubham if you happen to be watching this video. It, it might make it. I don't know how long USPS is gonna take to get it there That's sort of the just the way the international postage system works I assume but anyway, it's coming It's just got to get to the post office with it and Duncan's gonna go along and help me Hopefully if he's in a really bad mood or if he's feeling bad I'm not gonna force him to do that, but hopefully he'll be feeling pretty good in other news I did take just a little bit of time after uh, after we last spoke and uh, started, well, I started getting things ready to be unboxed. I went ahead and unboxed the Blue Life One X, the, the phone that showed up today, the $100 phone that I got. And the phone itself, it feels really nice in the hand. I don't have it on me at the moment because I left it back at the house running updates. I didn't want to do much more filming of it until I got everything up to date because performance on a lot of these devices just goes to crap until you get all the updates run. Once all the updates are done, it's, it's nice, but it doesn't actually show you everything it's doing while it's updating. It's snowing. I'm not gonna like spin the camera around or anything, but it's actually actually snowing and there comes the bus So time to get Duncan. Welcome home, buddy. You had your Polar Express day. Did you get to watch the movie? Yeah. It was a good movie. Polar yeah, was it a good movie? Yeah. yeah, you had drank hot chocolate? Yeah, twice. Twi twice? You did better than I did today. You can kind of see it is coming down in snow decently now. It's it's not like pouring or anything, but for just a random day in December, it's a decent amount of snow. Hey, we're already back home. And that was super duper frustrating. As you can see, the box for India is very much still with me. 
We went through the line at the post office a full two times because the first time we went up there, I am not terribly familiar with mailing things internationally, so I don't know exactly what forms to use. So I went up to the lady at the counter after waiting through the line, the line of a dozen people, went to the lady and said, this one I have ready to go, it's going priority mail, It's it was the one plus case, ready to go all filled out. This other one, it's going to India, I don't know how to do, help me. The lady said, oh, you need a customs form. So she walked around, she got me a form, handed it to me, said, fill this out, go through the line again. I filled it out and I went through the line again. And of course, right as we got to the front of the line, Duncan said, Daddy, I have to go pee. There's no bathroom in the, in the post office. There's no bathroom anywhere near the post office. <sighs> so we got to the front of the line. The lady looked at it and said, you, you don't have his, his name and address anywhere on this box. It has to be on the box. You didn't tell me that. I've done this, I, the, the one time I have done this before, it was at a different post office, and the man at that post office helped me. Like, he, he actually got me the right labels, he helped me put it on there. I think he actually filled out the label for me. It wasn't a hugely busy post office at the time. Different time of year, different people, I know. Anyway, the box is still here. If there's time, I'll go ahead and run it out. We are home now, he is home now. Where did you go? You are secretly hiding. Secretly hiding. Weren't you gonna show me the elf? Yeah. Yeah, where's the elf? Is he in here somewhere? No. No. He's in the kitchen. Where is he? Is he hiding from me? Is he hiding? <gasps> He's drinking my coffee! <laughs> is he drinking your coffee? I don't have any you coffee. You don't have any coffee. He's drinking all the coffee. But anyway, the uh, package for Shuham, the Moto E, is not going out right at the moment. And because we just got home, I'm not in a huge hurry to venture back out into the wow, it's cold weather and mail it at the moment. Tempted, but it's just, I can go to the one post office where the guy was super helpful, but it closes in 15 minutes, or I can go to the post office with the lady that was not hugely helpful that's really, really busy right now, but I really don't want to drive back over there. I'll, I'll see if I can do it tomorrow morning. If I can't, I'll do it Monday. I mean, as much as I do want to get it shipped out and I want to get it over with, I want to make sure that he goes ahead and gets it as soon as possible. It is not going to arrive before Christmas, and with all of the potential weather that's coming up and with all of the holidays that are coming up, it's going to take a while to get there one way or the other. So I will get it mailed out as soon as possible. Well, that was pretty nice. I got Duncan to sit in here with me for a few minutes while we unbox the, the latest Geek Fuel box. Uh, if you are one of the Geek Fuel people that, that like seeing those, the video should be up by this point. I've gone ahead and got it all pulled in. I'm going to start editing it very quickly. Not a bad box at all. Nice t-shirt, lovely, lovely book. Installing the games actually right now on the, the 4K display behind me. Not sure what I'm gonna do with the Death Star mold. I'm gonna ask Christina if there's anything that she knows to do with it, anything she's interested in doing with it. Might be something we can just fill with chocolate. I don't know. But I've got all the footage coming in from that. Right in the middle of that video, if you've seen it, you probably noticed, maybe I'll leave that in. The doorbell rang. And I kind of figured it was somebody delivering something. I was just gonna leave it alone. I looked out, there was no vehicle outside. So no, no delivery. It was our neighbor, our lovely, lovely neighbor who dropped off this package of stuff for the baby. We actually kind of already knew it was coming because Amazon, you know, it's a registry thing. As soon as the order was placed, we got an email from Amazon saying, send a thank you card to this person who bought stuff from your registry. Thank you, Amazon. Thank you, neighbor. We definitely appreciate it. So we'll wait for Christine to get home. Maybe we'll open it on camera. Just full of stuff for the baby. Lovely, lovely neighbors. We love the place we live. That's what I was getting at yesterday. It's, it's so nice to be where we are. That's exactly why I'm loving the fact that the, the way that we live our lives has allowed us to live where we live with around the people that we live around. This really blew all of a sudden. Hey, welcome home. Hello. Big box showed up. Our neighbor came by and dropped it off. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's box for baby. Yeah, she, uh, she told me she was coming over. Yeah. So. Probably should have come a little bit later, I guess. So you would have been here, but... Yeah, so me and can answer the door. So let us see what is in the super big package for baby stuff that's very loud. All better. Thank you. All better. It's not like the floor is dirty or anything either. Put it on my bald spot. Put it on my patch. There you go. All better. <laughs> the sad thing is it'll still be there in a couple of days. Hey, it's a big Amazon box. It's a big Amazon box. I wonder where this came from. I wonder. Couldn't have it's been like... from our Amazon wish list or anything. I'm not. Little loud paper. Loudest paper. All right, and label removed and everything, and there's stuff. We got some baby wash, Ooh. lotion, and we got an outfit, and we got all oh, a baby book. A little book. A book we didn't have, so that's good. Yeah, and this yeah. little outfit is like a little nautical. Yep, it's a little outfit, and it's got little boats. Little boats. Little boats. And it has a little hat. Woo! 
And there's this little thing as well. That's a baby thing, isn't it? It's not just an accessory. It's like a teething thing. Am I the one that recognized that and you didn't? No, I saw it on there. I just don't know what it is. I don't it's a teething ring. Maybe it is. I guess I've spent more time teething. Well, that's pretty neat. I installed one of the games that came with the Geek Fuel Box. This is Devil's Bluff. It is playing at 4K on my system. Uh, and it's got Twitch stuff built in, so you can technically go in here, put in your Twitch settings and OAuth token and everything, and live stream your matches to Twitch. Uh, I don't know how this is all going to work. There's the controls. I'd be curious to see if there are any uh, Xbox controller controls, because I don't know. But there you go. You got WASD. You got one with, run with space, uh, attack, investigate, capture, and sneak. Maybe I'll take a look at this. I don't know if I'll do any like gameplay videos of it or anything, but still something fun to look at. And there was another game, a cheaper one that came with it too. It's like a four dollar game. Maybe I'll look at that one here in a minute. I'm not sure if you're even gonna be able to see this, but Frankenstein. And I'm moving around and I'm doing stuff. Interesting. Hiding places. Apparently Duncan made something he didn't tell me about. Well he made it for somebody. It says Merry Christmas, mommy. Dear Mommy, I hope you have a good Christmas just like me. Love, Duncan, for Mommy. And then it even says something for me on the back. Daddy, I think you are the best. Love, Duncan, to Daddy. That's so nice. Oh, look, we're in the car again. We are headed to Duncan's basketball practice. Probably, I guess, the last one before Christmas, won't it be? Something like that? Yeah. Mommy decided to stay home tonight, didn't she? Yeah. She wasn't feeling well. She, she didn't decide to stay home. I told her to stay home. Cause she just, she wasn't feeling very well and she didn't want dinner or anything. So I said, just lay down, rest, feel better. We'll be back in a little while. So instead of going and running tonight, I'm gonna go sit and watch the little man kick some butt at basketball. Mm -hmm. You tomorrow ready? Is winter break and I have a game tomorrow. Oh, you start winter break tomorrow? Yeah. Oh buddy. So it's gonna be loads of fun. Yeah, and I also have a game. Yep, he has a game early, first thing tomorrow morning. So that's, <laughs> I did spend a little bit of time, I uh, started working on the, well I finished up the Geek Fuel video, that's going up right now, I'll make it public here in a minute. And then I also started working on the Blue Life 1X video, I got it all filmed, I'm editing it, I've got it almost finished editing, I just have to do that, render, process, upload, so I'll have that up tonight, making good progress. As I said yesterday, this is how you do it, in the in, in between moments, that's where a YouTuber like myself lives. And that is basketball done for tonight. Did you have fun, buddy? Yeah. yeah. I saw you making some shots on the big goal out there. Good job. Before the before practice started, but still. Yeah, and you had a good time when you were actually practicing. All right. Basketball game in the morning, but for now, let's go home. Hello again, and Ginger's cough toting. <laughs> that's super funny, and that's what she always does. We're getting ready to watch the Star Wars movie number six. And uh, that's all I want to say. Bye. And we completely forgot Advent book time. While the movie gets ready to start, and Mommy will just be over there. Way over there. Because it's wide angle. So it looks like you're 16 miles away. Book. It's a book. Is it filled with pages? What does it say? Bread and jam for fr Francis. Francis. Bread and the jam of Francis. For Francis. Francis? Uh oh. So you got a new book. Another new book. Mm -hmm. Let's watch the movie. Well, he has seen all six of the prequel movies. The non-seventh movie. You ready for tomorrow? Yes. You ready to watch the last one? Yes, and go to my basketball game. Yeah, we'll do that tomorrow. For tonight, you need a shower in bedtime because it's super duper late. Really You're just... yawning. Look at you. You're super sleepy. <laughs> sleepy he is. Sleepy. Come on, let's get in the shower. Get in the shower. Quick. Come on. Alrighty guys, late in the evening at this point. Duncan has gone to bed. He was such a trooper this evening. He he watched the Star Wars with us. We finished everything up. He loved it. He was totally into it. He loved the Ewoks. He loved the, the battles and everything. He knew exactly what was going on. He knew who everybody was. For a six-year-old, that's, that's a big task. And he's absolutely pumped for The Force Awakens. We're gonna do our best to go see it tomorrow. I was looking online. There are actually still tickets available for tomorrow. So we may be working that out. It's all a matter of finding the right time, the right theater, the right setup and everything. And I'm kind of, I, I want to go ahead and buy them online, but I kind of don't. It's one of those, we are so close in terms of time. I, 
unpredictability. You don't know what's gonna happen overnight. We could have the baby, you just really don't know. So I'm very tempted to wait until tomorrow morning, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it. If the, the seats that I'm looking at, if they are available, because they, they disappeared, we reserved them all, uh, without meaning to, if they show back up, I may go ahead and just buy them and get it over with. But Duncan has a basketball game early in the morning, so I need to get the vlog edited, rendered, and uploaded. I actually have the uh, quick unboxing video about the Blue Life One X rendering right at this very second. Actually really impressed with this. I'm gonna say it again. I think I already said it earlier. Really impressed with the, the build quality and the price and everything. So be on the lookout for that video. I actually saw a comment earlier, and I normally don't do this kind of thing, but I thought I would. Tyler Drew said his birthday is tomorrow, I guess today when this vlog goes up. So happy birthday to Tyler. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for spending the day with me and my family. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. Remember to smile. Remember to keep smiling. I, that's that's kind of been something I've been trying to do all day today, and it has turned into an excellent day as a result. And I'm going to get this done and head to bed. So we will see you again tomorrow. Bye, guys.